In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. My dear sisters and brothers, we are gathered as one family of God of the Feast community here in Rizal area. As members of the Light of Jesus, we thank the Lord for the gift of each one of us, friendship, family. We thank the Lord for the gift of life. We thank the Lord for the gift of the community. And we offer this Holy Mass as a sign of thanksgiving for all the graces and favors we have received. We are now on the fifth Sunday of Easter. And as we celebrate the Holy Eucharist, the feast of the Lord, we entrust to Him all our needs, all our concerns, all the members of the community. We also include in our prayers the eternal repose of the soul of our beloved Sister Mimi Kolong. As we prepare to celebrate the mystery of Christ's love, let us acknowledge our failures and ask the Lord pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in, in my, my thoughts, thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, constantly accomplish the Paschal mystery within us, that those you were pleased to make new in holy baptism may, under your protective care, bear much fruit and come to the joys of eternal life eternal. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. First reading, a reading from the book of the Acts of the Apostles. When Saul arrived in Jerusalem, he tried to join the disciples, but they were all afraid of him, not believing that he was a disciple. Then Barnabas took charge of him and brought him to the apostles, and he reported to them how he had seen the Lord, and that he had spoken to him, and how in Damascus he had spoken out boldly in the name of Jesus. He moved about freely with them in Jerusalem, and spoke out boldly in the name of the Lord. He also spoke and debated with the Hellenists, but they tried to kill him. And when the brothers learned of this, they took him down to Caesarea and sent him on his way to Tarsus. The church throughout all Judea, Galilee, and Samaria was at peace. It was being built up and walked in the fear of the Lord. And with the consolation of the Holy Spirit, it grew in numbers. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will praise you, Lord, in the assembly of your people. Praise you, Lord, in the assembly of your people. I will fulfill my vows before those who fear the Lord, 
The lowly shall eat their fill. They who seek the Lord shall praise Him. May your hearts live forever. I will praise you, Lord, in the assembly of your people. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord. All the families of the nation shall bow down before Him. I will praise you, Lord, in the assembly of your people. To Him all shall bow. All who sleep in the earth before Him shall bend. All who go down into the dust. I will praise you, Lord, in the assembly of your people. And to Him my soul shall live. My descendants shall serve him. Let the coming generations be told of the Lord, that they may proclaim to a people yet to be born the justice he has shown. I will praise you, Lord, in the assembly of your people. Second reading from the first letter of St. John. Children, let us love not in word or speech, but in deed and truth. Now this is how we shall know that we belong to the truth and reassure our hearts before him in whatever our hearts condemn. For God is greater than our hearts and knows everything. Beloved, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have confidence in God and receive from him whatever we ask, because we keep his commandments and do what pleases him. And his commandment is this, we should believe in the name of His Son, Jesus Christ, and love one another as, just as He commanded us. Those who keep His commandment may remain in Him, and He in them. And the way we know that He remains in us is from the Spirit He gave us. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, remain in me as I remain in you, says the Lord. Whoever remains in me will bear much fruit. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine grower. He takes away every branch in me that does not bear fruit, and every one that does, he prunes so that it bears more fruit. You are already pruned because of the word that I spoke to you. Remain in me as I remain in you. Just as the branch cannot bear fruit on, it, on its own unless it remains on the vine. You are the branches. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit. Because without me, you cannot, you can do nothing. Anyone who does remain in me will be thrown out like a branch and wither. People will gather them and throw them into the fire and they will be burned if you remain in me and my words if you remain in me and my words remain in you ask for whatever you want and it will be done for you by this is my father glorified that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. The gospel of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A blessed day to each one of you as we celebrate today the fifth Sunday of Easter. My dear friends from uh, the Light of Jesus community, as we celebrate the feast of the Lord, we are now on the first Sunday of May. Parang kailan lang, napakabilis ng panahon. Marami nang nangyari, maraming dumaan, maraming mga uh, uh, na, na, nangyari sa nakaraan na uh, ngayon pala ay natapos na at nagsisimula na muli itong ating panahon ng Mayo. The Gospel speaks about 
Jesus is telling us that uh, uh, he wants us to remain in him. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit. Because without me, you can do nothing. This is a very inspiring words that Jesus is telling us. He wants us to remain in him. And as Christians, how do we remain with Jesus? Marami kasi nagsasabi, Kristiyano ako, pero ang gawa at kilos, hindi naman kagaya ng isang Kristiyano. And this is a very a serious uh, invitation for us to remain with Jesus. And how do we remain with Jesus? We are now on the 500 years of our Christianity here in the Philippines. And around 80% of the uh, population are Christians. But can we really claim that we are uh, Christians in deed and in action? Or maybe we are only Christians by name. We are called nominal Christians. How do we remain with Jesus? How do you say that uh, you are connected with Jesus? First, of course, no, you need to know Jesus in your life. Marami kasi kilala lang si Cristo dahil sa ayon sa istorya, ayon sa Biblia, ayon sa turo ng mga tao ng pastor, ng pari, ng madre, o ng katekista. But how about you? Have you really known Jesus in your life? Who is He in your life? So the knowledge of Jesus must not be limited to what people are saying or books are saying. It needs to be interpersonal relationship. Mutual uh, knowledge of one another. Thus, there is a need for us to have connection with Jesus. And how do we know Jesus in our life? Through prayer. And prayer is none other than conversation our conversation with God, our conversation with Jesus, as Jesus also uh, conversed with us. So it is a mutual dialogue. Not only that you just ask God or Jesus what you want in life, but rather it needs really to um, uh, know him in your uh, prayer life. Thus, you need to have an interpersonal relationship with Jesus. Yung malalim na pagkaunawa at pagkakilala kay Kristo sa buhay mo ay nangyayari kapag tayo nagdarasal puso sa puso kay Kristo. Otherwise, we really do not have this personal uh, relationship with the Lord. Second, to be connected or to remain with the vine, we need to uh, we need to know the teachings of Jesus. Alamin yung mga turo niya, aral niya, yung mga iniwan niya sa atin. And you know, the uh, Second reading today speaks about love. This is, you know, the, uh, uh, the, the best uh, words or the best uh, gift that Jesus has given us. The best commandment that he wants us 
to do. To love. Let us love not in word or speech, but in deed and truth. So, He has uh, given us, He commanded us to love one another as we love ourselves. To love God first, to love our neighbor, and to love ourselves, as to love ourselves. Thus, my dear brothers and sisters, to be in connection with Jesus and to remain with Jesus, we need to uh, follow uh, his uh, teachings, his commandment. And uh, this, of course, are all summed in the commandment of love. Love that comes from our heart. Love not only by words, but in deed and in truth. As uh, uh, the first letter of St. John is telling us. And lastly, my dear brothers and sisters, to remain in Jesus, we need to live his life. That is why when we were called Christians, we simply mean that we are following Jesus' footsteps, that his actions are our actions, that his uh, teachings are our teachings, that his lifestyle is our lifestyle. And if we are doing this, we are connected with Jesus. We are disconnected and we do not remain with Jesus if we, if we despise his teachings and if we do not uh, live his ways, his uh, a commandment to us. And uh, when you say disconnection, sim it simply means that uh, uh, we are living a different kind of uh, life than Jesus. That is why Jesus is always telling us no, to remain with him because anyone who does not remain in me will be thrown, will be thrown at will be thrown out like a branch and wither. And this leads us, of course, to our damnation. This leads us to uh, our uh, leading to uh, sinfulness. Kaya mahalaga yung pananatili kay Kristo para hindi tayo madala sa pagkakasala. Remember that uh, the way to uh, Jesus will lead us to fruitfulness of life. Remaining with, with Jesus leads to the fruitfulness of our life. Nagiging mabunga ang ating pakikipag-ugnayan sa ating kapwa. Hindi yung ang uh, pakikipag-ugnayan ay uh, pakitang tao, plastic. Hindi yung pakikipag-ugnayan ay kung ano lang yung gusto. Hindi yung pakikipag-ugnayan ay magdadala sa atin sa uh, gulo, away. At ang iba pa nga minsan ay uh, nagdadala sa uh, inggitan, siraan ng... Uh, uh, buhay at ang iba ay uh, uh, naging dahilan ng uh, di magandang ugnayan. How can we remain with Jesus if it will not lead us to our fruitfulness in life? Nang buhay mo naging mabunga dahil kasama mo ang Diyos. Nang buhay mo naging maka Totohanan dahil sa 
si Kristo ang nagtuturo sa iyo na maging makatotohanan. Ang buhay mo ay naging makatarungan dahil sa iniuutos ng Diyos na maging makatarungan ka sa buhay mo. Na ang buhay mo ay uh, uh, naging maganda at maayos dahil sa uh, tunay ngang nakaugat ka sa Kanya, nakadikit ka sa Kanya. Pruning, yung pag, uh, minsan pagtatanggal ng pangit na sa ating buhay, gaya na ating mga uh, nagagawang pagkakasala, para tayo mabago ay magandang pamamaraan para na maibalik ang sigla at maging mabunga muli. Kaya mahalaga na tingnan din natin ating mga sarili bilang mga Kristiyano. Baka nagmamalabis na tayo o baka hindi pala ito ang kagustuhan ng Panginoon. O di kaya baka ang ating pakikipag-ugnayan ay hindi na pala maayos at maganda. Plastikan, walang respeto at pagalang, o nandiyan na yung galit sa manaloob, binanakit, dahil sa yun pala ay oh, hindi natin nakita ang mukha ni Kristo sa ating kapwa. Kaya mahalaga yung uh, yung uh, biyayang ibinibigay at inialok palagi sa atin ng Diyos. Pagbabalik loob, pagpapatawad, kagalingan, paghilom sa ating buhay upang mapanauli ang ating lakas, sigla, freshness, and it leads us to fruitfulness. And lastly, to remain with Jesus, my dear brothers and sisters, Jesus is assuring us of the blessings and the graces that each one of us will receive. He told us, no, if you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask for whatever you want and it will be done for you. Ganun pala si Jesus. No? Ano man ang uh, uh, ating magandang ugnayan sa kanya at pananatili sa kanya, ay uh, ipagkakaloob niya sa atin. Ano man ating mga kahilingan at ano man ating pangangailangan. We are now experiencing this pandemic of coronavirus. And until now, many people have been affected by, by this uh, uh, pandemic. Not only those who got sick of COVID, but also the effects of COVID you know, in our economy and even in our family. There are those who uh, have uh, no work. There are those that uh, uh, flex, they have uh, work, flexi work, but very limited uh, income. There are those that uh, their families are abroad and they cannot see each other. And even there are those who were uh, frustrated, distressed, and even depressed because of uh, this pandemic. Thus, my dear brothers and sisters, itong palaging sinasabi sa atin na huwag nating iwalayin ang ating sarili sa Diyos. Remain in God. Kung tayo lang po, makasalanan tayo, mahina tayo, marami tayong kapalpakan, marami tayong mga kamalian. Kaya, talagang magdadala sa atin sa kapahamakan. But if we remain with God, even if we are sinners, we know that God will forgive us. Even if we are frail and weak, we know that God will give us strength and courage that we need in life. With God, we can do everything, even impossible things. Yan ang pangako ng Panginoon. Nang pananatili sa Kanya ay ipagkakaloob niya sa atin anuman ang ating hinihiling 
at tinihingi sa Kanya. We entrust to the Lord this pandemic because we know, my dear brothers and sisters, that God is in control. We are not. Even if uh, we have already this uh, vaccine, we know no, there are still many who have been affected by this uh, uh, coronavirus. And in the situation we're in, we are uh, having difficulties. We have uh, problems you know, in our relationship. And we have uh, sometimes nothing you know, to, uh, uh, to look for due to the limited uh, resources we have. All we really can do is to entrust everything to the Lord. Kaya wag po tayo panghinaan. Magdadalawang taon na itong coronavirus ng pandemyang ito, we know na oh God at the end will help us no, to uh, have a better life. We learn from this pandemic and uh, we become more strong in our uh, journey in life because of this pandemic. Kaya wag po tayo panghinaan. Manatili tayo kay Kristo. Manalig tayo kay Kristo. Manampalataya tayo kay Kristo. Umasa tayo kay Kristo. Dahil ang pananatili at nakaugat sa Kanya ay tunay nga magdadala sa atin sa tagumpay ng buhay. At tunay nga makatutulong sa ating mapaglabanan ang lahat ng hirap dulot ng coronavirus sa ating buhay. Let God truly be our vine, our vine dresser, at hindi niya tayo pababayaan. We remain with Jesus until the end. Amen. Let us now profess our faith. I believe, I believe in God, in one, the, the Father, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. As we affirm our faith in Jesus, our Lord, we thank our Heavenly Father and ask Him to fill us with His choicest blessings. We pray, Father, Make us grow in your love. Father, make us grow in your love. Keep the church in your love. Guide and protect all church leaders and make your people a leaven in the transformation of the world. We pray. Father, make, make us, us grow, grow in your love. Bless all families with your strength and love, with your joy and peace, with health and laughter. We pray. Father, make us strong in your love. Grant the sick and the lonely, those in bondage and those in exile, receive consolation and help, we pray. Father, make us grow in your love. Embrace our departed loved ones into your loving arms, for being with you is the true home, we pray. Father, make us grow in your love. Let us now present to God our petitions and intentions. Let us... Uh, uh, ask Him for our needs, especially healing for those who got sick of COVID and other illness. Heavenly Father, give us all the joyful reassurance that you are always with us through your Son, Jesus, our Lord. Grant that we may never be separated from you 
so that we may bear much fruit for your glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruits of the earth and work of human hands, it will become our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to please your service. Friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice had made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always at all times to acclaim, O Lord. But in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of this body he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross and by commending himself to you for our salvation showed himself the priest, the altar in the Lamb of Sacrifice. Therefore overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son in the highest. Blessed is you comes in the name of the Lord, O Son in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Francisco, our Bishop, Noli, auxiliary Bishop, Gabriel, our Bishop Emeritus, all the clergy and all of you gathered in this celebration. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and our Mother too, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with all the blessed apostles and saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As one family of God, let us now pray together the prayer Jesus himself has taught us. Our, Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us. And, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your friends, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. With all the smile on your faces. Let us share and offer each other the peace and the love of Christ. Peace be with you. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. My dear friends, this is Jesus, the risen Lord the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are you who are invited to remain with him. Lord, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those who have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing.
May the weakness of your devoted people steer your compassion, O Lord, we pray, and let their faithful pleading win your mercy, that what they do not presume upon by their merits, they may receive by your generous pardon. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the loving God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go and announce the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.